Welcome to the harsh and unforgiving world of post Fanem. You want to know how harsh and... Oh, man. You want to know how harsh and unforgiving it is? Not only do I keep pressing the wrong keys, but I currently have only one life left to my name. This means if I was to fall off a ledge and take too much damage, which is a bit of an impossibility due to the boots that I'm wearing, I would die. But... I have one thing already done that I could do to uh, correct this issue. I noticed that I needed to kill one more Enderman, and out there is an Enderman spawner. One guy fell down, and literally on the way past, I was like, swipe with my sword, killed him, uh, and got that extra, uh, and completed that quest. So I'm going to take the full heart, I'm going to take the rifle clip. I'm going to revel, revel in the music. Oh, it plays it twice for me. Thank you very much, and I'm going to eat that heart. Brilliant. So what are we going to do today? Well, I thought maybe we could start looking at some of these quests that I haven't touched at all. The explore quest. Yes, we need to go around and try and find ourselves a whole load of broken pigman spawners, I believe. Yes. Now, we had a few of these, but due to experiments in all sorts of spawners and stuff like that, we have ended up with only two. Thankfully... If we have a look at my journey map here, oh no, we're inside, we can't look at it. Okay, so let's go over to the beezes and step outside. Just a quick look round to make sure I'm not going to get jumped while I'm out here. That spider over there is our buddy, so we don't have to worry there. Journey map, if you could. So there's a little village over there that we haven't hit before, and right here, this is the village we hit last time. And just round the corner, there's some more for us to go and take advantage of. So I thought we might go and do that right now. Hello. Who have we got here? There's a little dude hanging out in the bottom of my mob spawner. There we go. Killed him. That was the important thing. Uh, anything there I particularly want? Uh, he's got some bones. I kind of want that. Let's knock down this fence. Thank you. All right. Cool. Uh, let's get that enderman head out of the way because that is completely useless. This... This this thing, I mean, it's all right. It it did me when I when I needed to get some stuff, but it's a little bit redundant now, especially with all the powered spawners. Uh, the villages are up and over the way here. Let's have a look. There, there's that village. Now that's the one that we've already um already raided for all it is worth. I'm a little bit worried about wasting all of my electricity on the teleport so let's try and take it easy now this place has been completely raided out I, c I could raise it to the ground and take all the stuff but i, I don't know i, I kind of like having the ruins kicking around but we're gonna go cross this river here okay so this is the hard bit we're gonna bust out the pick and we need to immediately get in and get the spawners we've we do have a a life to use if we need to but i think oh no 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 uh, my mouse has got a weird mouse wheel problem where every now and then it likes to just click around to the next thing uh, unfortunately when i need my pickaxe that's not great so we got a broken spawner anyway that is uh two of four let's see what we got here electrical steel steel linger iron chest plate steel chest plate i mean uh, the chest plates i don't actually really need the food though i will take all this food even if it is just to turn into rot so we can make uh some more proteins that is of course one of the other ways we can get some um some hearts back is via protein but also i'm really looking to open a second village today um we've got the mines out the back and i kind of want to put i don't know maybe the japanese oh hey whew, that that was really sketchy there i want to put the japanese kind of over this way I, i'll show you where i want to put it actually so up there you see where that little rock formation is that we've used to um use it as a landmark for a long time now i would kind of like to put something up here i'm not sure what we're going to call this plateau yet but this this is definitely a place that needs naming look at all the space up here i thought i might put the village center somewhere like there i thought that would be a great idea but anyway night is falling i have done everything i want to do to set up this episode i will see you guys in a second all right so we're coming up for our last pigman spawner now anything could be happening in this village i think there's a whole load of spawners we're gonna go and try and get the most vulnerable ones first and then maybe we're gonna farm it for a little bit that one didn't drop a broken spawner why not why, why didn't that drop a broken one? I hate it when it does that. So what, does anybody know if there's any sort of percentage chance for it breaking? Because if it is a percentage bro chance, it's a very high percentage chance. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Does anybody know? That's two now that we've broken and it's just not giving me anything. So that's almost this entire village. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, was it... 
was it all a hang up? Maybe, maybe. Let's go over and have a look. Are you there? You're not there. Um, okay, that that's a little bit annoying. Oh, look, a block of steel. We've got some food. We can take all the food, potatoes, apples, electrical steel. I think everything else can stay. I may, might take this water bottle to fill up my camel pack with. Have any of these got anything inside them? No. Uh, don't know if there's anything more uh, specific we need to do to open that and then this one over here no that's still so it's not it wasn't just the hang up uh, I'm not sure what's going on with that then but there is somewhere else to go and check oh I'm absolutely full of stuff so what I'm gonna do is use this to fill my environment pack my camel pack and that should be all good uh, is it gonna let me take it out of that it's not uh, I'm just gonna drop it I'm just gonna drop it. Okay, so let's go over that way and see what this guy can do for me. Hopefully he's gonna give me a broken spawner. I can only assume that it is actually just a small chance to pick it up. Uh, can we eat potato? Let's eat bread instead. Let's eat bread instead. So... Those meat lumps over there, they're interesting. I, I haven't gone into a village with one of those yet. I'm also looking for one of those blaze areas. You remember out the back of my place, we've got that big sort of nether rack building. Uh, I'd like to find something else like that. Okay, now where do we... Oh, I don't, I don't know where we find the spawner in this place. Uh, so we're just going to have to... There it is. Just going to have to hope. Still no broken spawner. Is, this, is, is it something I'm doing? Am I doing something wrong here? I am not sure. This grandfather clock though that is something uh, i'm not sure where else any would be i'm hoping there would be more oh go away go away go away Whoa. pigman eh pigman uh let's put some of these factory blocks in here because I, I don't need them but i do want this broken spawner let's mm, let's think about this let's think about this don't think too long though because obviously it is gonna respawn that's, that's four pigman spawners now that I've broken. It is not giving me anything. Is there something I'm doing wrong? There must be. I, I just cannot get what what's going on. But look at this. Oh, man. So, some of the blocks in this place are amazing. Uh, what else can I get rid of? Stuff like that. Okay, cool. Let's go around and raid up anyway. Some vibrant anode, pulsating dark steel, block of steel, electrical steel, and steel ingot. Uh, the steel axe... I kind of want it, but I've already got one, so we'll leave that there. Can we put out this fire? I'm sure we can. Yeah, just like that. Uh, I'm going to throw away the gold nugget and the iron bars, because I kind of want this meat block. I was I think I can cook it up and eat it back at home. Is this a fridge or a marble uh, portable tank? This place is pretty nice, actually. Got oven, sink. That's a weird-looking oven. Um, marble of large dent. Okay, cool. So that was this place. A little underwhelming, it has to be said. And also, I want that last spawner. What What is going on with that? So this village looks a little bit larger. Just for reference, we've come down this way. There, there's my place. We raided this village, then this village. May have ignored that one. Raided this village, this village, and this village. And now I've come up north here. That that was the last one we raided. And I'm hoping... That red spot up here and really shocked me there. I'm hoping we can get a broken spawner or something there. I'm just, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Now, obviously, bigger village, we're going to have bigger problems with pigmen. Uh, I've cleared some room in my inventory, but not a great deal. Look, there's actual pigmen still walking around. Thankfully, I have like all the ammo on me at the moment, so we can just kind of do that. Did that not like that? Okay, there's going to be a spawner in there, and that is not what I want to do. I'll just. No, no. No, nope. there we go. Oh man, I must be suffering big time from the hang-ups at the moment. I'm th it says I'm pulling down 140 frames. So, whilst that's doing, why that is doing that, I have no idea. So let's just kind of walk in, firing away. Hey, 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 there, Mr. Pigman. You've got a bow. Wow, that's interesting. Was this actually a little village area that I just came through? Uh, not village. Um, market area that just came through and destroyed stuff look at this obsidian obelisk here okay i'm just gonna take a moment over here to have a look in my inventory quick and see what i don't want like the sulfur the glop the bottles the rotten flesh these are all things i do not need okay i'm gonna get my pickaxe out we're just gonna go up and uh try and get this spawner because that is that is what we're here for we just want one there it is oh that is, that's it that's what we're here for i'm gonna pop that away oh Oh, there's a lot of stuff here I could really do with taking, but I'm just going to take that for now. We, we know where all this stuff is, so we can come back. 
Boom. Hopefully, by the time we've gone around and done a few of these, we should actually be able to gain the extra life. Now, unfortunately, if I come away here and put my... Uh, put my f3 away you can see we've, we're only at 13 of 50 but that's pretty good because we we're at eight when i first left so we are definitely been getting more to worry about uh, more to head towards the the extra life uh let's put the sulfur away what do we want to fill up the uh, bread bread will be nice uh but that's really the four sp broken spawners that i needed so i'm i'm not overly bothered about breaking anymore i kind of want to get these if i can um, just keeping an eye on my journey map to make sure nothing's going to creep up on me. But let's get in there and grab that other bit of meat there. Get out of it. Um, I do not appear to actually be doing anything. I wonder what that was about. Whoa. Okay, it's all good times. It's all good times. They are inside. That's fine. Man, I've got, I've got all the ammo. All the ammo. I'm not, not bothered about stuff there. Is that a giant pigman back there? Oh, he's got, he's got a fishing rod. That was fun. <laughs> okay, so that should be everyone taken care of. Am I not picking up the, the gold? Oh, no! Snuck up behind me. Do you know what I forgot to take with me? I'd made some potions and everything. I had made some potions and everything. Well, obviously, we're going to need to go back and get our stuff. Oh, my gun. I do have a spare gun, though. I do have a spare gun. This is one of the, the great things about having died or, uh, earlier on in the game. Uh, all the other stuff that I had lost is still waiting for me. So let's go get that gun, and I will bring you guys back when I'm going to go raid my stuff. All right, guys, confession time. This is actually my second attempt at trying to get my stuff. The first one, it didn't go too well. I managed to go in there and break my grave and grab some of my stuff, but it wasn't all the stuff. Um, I backed off, killed the pigmen that are out there, ran in for my stuff again, took a hit, and uh, very quickly after that went downhill and died. So we're going to try it again from a different point of view, different angle this time. I came in via that way. I got inside this shed here and everything went okay. So we're going to try it again. Um, the main problem I've got is that I've only got my sword to try and break my grave with. And that, that's not the best plan in the world ever. I do not want to get that rotten meat, thank you. We're just going to try and break it from back here. Anything pops up, we're going to just run away. We're going to run away now. Can I put this on and fly? We can. Okay. Right, we're going to fly all the way over here. Now, obviously... Whew, okay, take, take a moment to breathe. Take a moment to breathe. Uh, what do we want to do with all this stuff in my inventory? We want to start off by eating some food so we can get our hunger all the way up. A little bit of natural regen wouldn't go amiss, you know what I'm saying there. Uh, I also need to try and get all my equipment back on and hopefully get in there before nighttime strikes because nighttime is not the time to be uh, messing around with pigment as I'm sure you guys can appreciate. Right, that's my teleport sword. That's going to be very important. That is not important. Arrows are also not important. Um, water bottle, gravestone, um, and rotten flesh. Okay, let's try and do this again. We've got a little bit of a little bit of hunger to run with. We are also fully healthed. This is already better than what we did last time. Run in, run out, run away. Oh, one spawned behind me. That's fine, though, as long as we can get outside the area. Whoo. Bam. Die. Die. Okay, that's good. Whoo. There we go, guys. We got all the stuff back. Do I have my helmet? I do have my helmet. Do we just go in there and break up these spawners? I think I'm just going to go in and mess up these spawners. It's probably the quickest way to do these things. Bam. Okay, that's that taken care of. Run away again. Running away again. Is, it, is there a need for it? I don't think there is. Get rid of that golden sword. Okay, okay. Looking good here. Did we get a broken spawner from it? No, we do have a broken spawner. Right, the other one is back here somewhere. If we can get in there and break that, that will also make me a happy chap. Uh, factory blocks away because I want that broken spawner. Oh, it would have stacked, of course. Brilliant! Brilliant. Okay, so uh, night time has approached. I think that means it's time for us to get out of here. Though nothing is coming for us now. But no, I'm going to go home, guys, and I will see you back there. Woo. Okay, so I've got back from the pigments, and I've kept all the spawners over here. We'll take one of those. We've got a little bit of surplus. You can see that I've emptied my inventory of everything that we had collected. Everything's just basically been stuck into the metals box now down here in the explore we're going to have a look at this hostile takeover turn in four broken pigmen spawners you've collected from the cyborg villages okay do that boom now what are we going to get 
Emerald Lapis, Dark Steel, or Diamond. I think I'm actually going to go for the Emerald because I actually have over here, if we go and have a look, a few more diamonds kicking around. I was kind of hoping we could get a life from that because as you can see from the front page of this book, we are still down to zero lives. There is another way of dealing with that though, and it involves these meat ingots that we had managed to grab from the pigments. If we come along and cook a load of these, and this is going to take a little while, we can then take all this cooked, uh, all these cooked ingots, sorry, and feed them in here and get ourselves a load of proteins back. Now, this isn't quite as many as I was hoping, but just from that, we've managed to grab ourselves 36. So if we come over to the rebuild project, and it does pain me to do this, but I'm going to take a stack... Oh yeah, of course, it, it put it away in there. And in there we can go for the extra lives quest, protein, give me a submission. I would like to have an extra life so I'm not at the point where I could just die from the merest exposure to what's going on. Alright, next up, I think I want to try and figure out how we're going to make Paradise Farms into a protein farm for me. Because belatedly, being able to use that meat like that means we're going to have to try and do this from Paradise Farms. Now, in here, there is something called the Meat Packer. Uh, is it this one here? Which is a relatively simple thing to make. I've got a bucket of fire water down below, actually. There we go. Bucket of fire water in the fridge. Who'd have thought that is where I've kept it now? I believe upstairs I should also keep a machine chassis. Last one. That That's not great, but that's how it's going to have to be. Two plastic sheets, some bricks, and redstone. Okay, the meat packer. This, of course, is coming along to us to Paradise Farms. I've got some meat here that already needs some packing. So let's try and wander over this way. I think maybe this could be something that takes place in the background here. Though at the same time, we do want access to it. So, ooh, once we've dealt with this lag spike, that was very nice. Thank you very much. Uh, where should we put it? Where should we put it? Let's try popping it here. We can, we can lead some power into it. The energy is already actually building up, of course, from the powerless, uh, pow wireless power. So let's uh, let's just let that charge quickly, shall we? I always love the way that I can just go along and charge this up without having to worry about anything. Now, I think what we want to do is take this... Oh, the, the way that meat disappeared when I started breaking it there really had me worried. We'll pop that there, and I should have... I do not. I should have had my, uh, my crescent hammer on me. But, of course, I keep on putting things away in between cuts, thinking I'm being, like, super good. But there we go. We'll drain that in there. But, of course, I'm not. Now, where does this output to? This is a question I had not considered. Uh, I should imagine it will be to some sort of chest. And we keep lots and lots of chests out this way. Perhaps Twitch Youngie 5 has one on him to use. He does not. That That is unfortunate. Where do I keep my others? This is obviously just a complete um, temporary setup. We want to make sure that all this works before I stick it into the walls. Maybe get the... Uh, get the piping done well, but there we go. We're starting to get some meat ingots So all I need to do now is cook up these meat ingots turn them into protein and I'll have almost infinite lives There is something else I want to show you guys it involves this room here You can see there is this beautiful grazing line of all these uh, vines here And if we open the chest boom look at all of this dirt now Why did I make this dirt? It's because I want to come out here and make the world better for the mines Hey, dude, how's it going out here? I, did, I didn't mean to come inside your house like this door's not real this door's not real i can walk inside and out of it i am a genius magician thing uh just quickly have a look at this guys they've uh, they've been upgrading their buildings it looks lovely the only real problem is if we teleport to the top of here you can see they built out a little too far and the uh, the roof couldn't support what they were doing there unfortunate but you know a thing that has to happen now i believe i can just do that and that selects dirt and then we just go around and start filling in all this place and we're going to turn this into a lovely area for the mines to live in. We have got stacks upon stacks of dirt to make this place lovely. <laughs> but maybe we need to reinforce this bridge up. But I'm afraid that is all I've got time for today, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time when we're going to make sure we get a proper protein machine on the go. Because I need more hearts. I, I really do need more hearts. Perhaps we'll find out a way of uh, farming extra extra animals, not animals, extra mobs and stuff like that. Also, I hope that we can uh, open up a new village on the other side of the base, but until then, bye!